We are already done with epithelial tissue as well as connective tissue. In this video, we are going to look at the difference between thin skin and thick skin. Plus, we are also going to look at the histology of muscular tissue, your smooth skeletal and cardiac tissue. First, let's look at the difference between thick skin and thin skin. So, thin skin is found throughout your body except at those regions where thick skin is found. So, where exactly are thick skin found? Thick skin is found on the sole of your feet and the palm of your hand. You can feel that the skin found at those regions are comparatively thicker and stronger. Histologically, the dermis of the thin skin is thick. Histologically, the dermis of the thick skin is thin. In thin skin, you can find hair follicles, sweat glands and oil glands. If you look at the skin of your own body, you can see that hair is present on your thin skin. You can't find hair on the palm of your hand or the sole of your feet. Because on the palm of your hand and the sole of your feet, you have your thick skin. And thick skin does not contain hair follicles. It does not contain sweat gland and oil glands. So histologically as well, you will not find any hair follicles or sweat gland or oil gland in thick skin. One extra point you need to know, in thin skin, there are only four layers. It does not contain stratum lucidium. In thick skin, there are a total of five layers. It contains stratum lucidium. So one last time, thin skin, it is present throughout your body except the sole of your feet and the palm of your hand where thick skin is present. Thin skin contains thick dermis. Thick skin contains thin dermis. In thin skin, you can find hair follicles, sweat glands and oil glands. In thick skin, you cannot find hair follicles, you cannot find sweat glands and you cannot find oil glands. In thin skin, one layer is missing that is stratum lucidium. In thick skin, the same layer is present, stratum lucidium is present. Histologically, you can identify thin skin the best way possible is by looking at the keratin layer. In thin skin, there is a thin deposition of keratin outside the skin. However, in thick skin, there is a much thicker lamellated deposition of keratin outside the skin. You can see in this histological slide as well, this is a thick skin and there is a huge deposition of keratin outside the skin. So if you are confused in differentiating thick skin and thin skin, just look at the keratin layer. If keratin layer is thick, there is high deposition, lots of lamella of keratin, it's obviously thick skin. But if there is a thin deposition of keratin outside the skin, then that's your thin skin. The other way could be to look for source for glands and hair follicles. So these are the two ways.